Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today I am going to start with pattern and what are the allowances which we are going to provide in our pattern because as you all know patterns are very much necessary in casting process but patterns can't work alone. It needs some allowances. Allowances why they are needed to just remove the object after the casting is done. So we will be seeing some types of allowances. I'll be starting with pattern. What is pattern? Pattern is exactly the replica of the mold or of the product to be made. So if we need any of the product, the pattern resembles its shape. There are different materials which can be used as a pattern. The basic material which are used for pattern is wood. Wood is a very basic material which can be used for pattern. Plastics can also be used. Another material like ceramics etc can also be used as patterns. So we will be dealing with their allowances one by one. If you can see the shape round here, it is kind of an Ashoka Chakra or kind of a symbol of dance or anything. But it has some shape, it has some size, it has some objective. So if for making this you need a pattern. So the role of pattern comes in picture like this. So there are different types of patterns for making different object and one of the pattern for making this object resembles the same. So there are some allowances as I said for making any object you need pattern but with the pattern you need some allowances. So allowances are being provided on the op on the pattern itself. So there are some allowances listed below. One of the allowances shrinkage, draft, machining, wrapping etc. So these are some allowances which can be given on the pattern so that material removal would be easy. Material or you can say the object your final product can be removed easily from the object. So the first allowance which I am going to explain is draft or taper. The name itself is taper. If you can see in the diagram there is a taper provided on the vertical side. So if you can see this object the vertical taper is provided at the side of the pattern. This taper is provided just to remove the object properly. So hence it is known as taper allowance or draft allowance. If this allowance is not provided then what happens? If you can see in the first picture the object removal is difficult. By providing a taper the object removal becomes easy as it is a tapular section and it can be removed. So hence taper or draft allowance is provided in the pattern itself for removing the object. The next allowance is shrinkage allowance. Shrinkage allowance occurs in both solid state as well as in liquid stage. Shrinkage as you pour the metal, some metal has a tendency to shrink. You have some four metals listed below cast iron, aluminium etc. There are some metals listed below. There is some shrinkage given and there is some dimensions given. So this element shrink at a particular dimension and why does this element shrink? Each and every element have their own solidification temperature. So as soon as you pour the metal in the pattern or in your mold what happens? It contracts. So to avoid that some allowance is provided in the pattern itself. This is known as shrinkage allowance. So in the table you can see clearly there are four elements cast iron, steel, magnesium, aluminium okay and some dimension is provided some basic dimension not exact dimension some basic dimension is provided and with this dimension how much shrinkage is being given or can be achieved is also provided next allowance is machining allowance why do you do machining allowance so when the pattern is made what happens is it is made of a larger size why the object cannot be used as it is it need to be cut it need to be finished while finishing the objects get removed and if it is made of the exact size excess material get removed so for that reason some machining allowance is given so that the object is made a bit larger so that when during machining if the object is finished or grinded or cut anything you get the desired shape so machining allowance there is a table given there are basic three elements like cast iron magnesium etc 
there are some basic dimension and for that dimension how much machining allowance can be given so this is machining allowance just enlarging the size of the object so that during machining the water the size gets cut is not useful size that is useless slide and it get cut and it get away next allowance is distortion allowance it is generally given in patterns because of when the pattern solidify as you can see the shapes the first shape the original pattern is there next shape you can see there are some deformations in the pattern it happens in u shape t shaped etc objects so during solidification it doesn't give you the plain t shape or the plain u shape which is required it distorts so for preventing that distortion allowance is given in your pattern itself the last allowance is wrapping allowance what is wrapping wrapping is basically tapping the vertical sides of your pattern what happens in this when you tap if you can imagine if you are tapping any size you take a bottle it is filled with ice or it is a ice bottle if you tap it size is increased after you removing from your refrigerator so what happens is your pattern size increase so wrapping allowance is provided in the side vertical side of object so that the pattern enlarges and your object can be removed easily wrapping allowance is provided at the side so wrapping allowance is provided on the vertical faces so that what happens is when you tap it the size increase and after increasing it you can remove the pattern easily from the object so these are some basic types of pattern allowances which are used in the pattern just to facilitate the removal of the object properly thank you friends for watching this video stay tuned with ekeda and subscribe our channel ekeda